Hello fellow travelers and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is our regular playthrough. Uh, as you are fully aware, the main playthrough is complete. So what are we doing back? Well, obviously, as you can probably tell by the title of the series here that we're doing now, is we're working on some other things. For instance, we're going to try to get the base built up completely. We're going to finish out these episodes in here, the scientific research, the agricultural research, and see if we can't finish this out and get our base completed. So we're going to work on that right now. We're going to go over to our scientist, talk to him, see where things are going. I do not think my child experiment is working. They have not assuaged my loneliness, and now I have two consciousnesses to fear for. Consciousnesses, huh? Interesting. I am losing myself, traveler. Take my core to a monolith. Let me interface before the Atlas. I must speak to eternity. That's, uh, that's pretty deep, man. Corvax has no memories of my last journey with their core. Then, I tried to reconnect them with the Convergence. This time, they seek the Atlas. Do not know if the monolith grants such an interface, or if anything does. Except. Or removed. Here we go again. So. So we've received some coordinates, and now it is time to take this to there. I can walk it and get there in 18 minutes, or we'll just take our ship. I don't like walking much. Oh, it's a little hazy today, huh? There we go. So we got a monolith we're going to plug him into, huh? Um, hold on. Okay, that is really weird. Let's do a quick roundabout. So apparently there should be a monolith here. Let's just go a little bit further, because I feel like it should have been right here. Yeah, that was strange. Anything? No? You don't see anything either, do you? It's alright, you're looking at a recording, so of course you can't say anything. All right. Yeah, this place has a couple craters to it. Very odd. Alright. Why don't we park our butt down? That is really, really weird there. This looks like a good a spot as any. And let's see where we're going. Okay. Apparently over that way. So it's literally directly behind us. By about a thousand units. So this way. So you think I'd be able to see it by now, huh? All right. Well, let's park it. And I don't think we're going to be leaving from here. So. I was wondering if it was up there. All right. Let's take a peek. quite as powerful as my uh, main character, but pretty good. Okay, so it's out this way someplace. Hi there. I expect to be able to see it by now. Ah, there it is. Found it.
Oh, right over there. We know what we do when we get here. Get some words. Always learn more words, because you'll be able to understand the languages better. There are certain things you're going to want to do that... Uh, puzzles that you'll have to solve, and it'd be great if you knew more of the words of the language that you're looking at. Uh, sorry. I did take binary mathematics in college, but that was a long time ago. Wait a second. Hold on a second here. Well, I'll be. I think I know what those numbers are, but I'm not saying it out loud. Anyway, I approach the monolith and prepare to insert the Corvax's core within the dais. The structure looks as if it were made for such a moment. Insert the core. Error, error. Atlas, obey. Atlas. Error, error. Run, error. Run, error, error. It sounds like my first computer. Life form identified. Corvax echo. Purpose. Servant of traveler. Analysis. I know this word. Hold on. Versimilitude. Versimilitude failure. Emotional breakdown. Traveler infection. Solution? Terminate. Insulate. Insulate. Protect. Wipe. Rebooting. One, two, three. Monolith offline. Ah, that's pretty cool. Alrighty. Guess what we are allowed to do. Let's call our ship in. Purdy. Okay, here we go. Hmm, didn't think of that. Alright, let's head back. Very weird. Versimilitude. I probably didn't even say it right. It's going to make me look it up later, I know it is. Bothering me. All right, so we're back to the scientist. So this is kind of a play-by-play -play on how this session will go. I landed on the wrong pad. Oh, well. All right. Back. Operator Entity Kudenpo's shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection. I fear for what has happened to their data core. Reinsert core. Shell reconnection, carapace online. You, greetings, unknown entity. I pass my test. Share in this joy via the exchange of technology. Circuit board. How do you feel about structural analysis, stranger? The scientist has once again been reset. But without a connection to the Convergence, I fear they are doomed to repeat this cycle forever, from the moment they met me in the space station until their collapse into loneliness. Perhaps if I can find them a Convergence cube, they might be unified with the rest of the Corvax and escape. Let's escape. accept that. Scientists deserve this chance at reconnection. They have helped me greatly, and they have taken good care of their, be of their beacon. Okay. So we gotta go out of the system in order to find it. Back to the Batmobile. Diggly. And off we go. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to space we go. That was really, really strange. Not sure what happened there. Alright, where to? Uh, Azofic. Looks like we might have actually been there before. So here we go. We're going to find a convergence cube. I think my main save has about 30 of them sitting in my cargo container. Of course we're going to battle. Alright. 
think we got him. Back over here. I didn't tell you you could leave. That's two down. Who's next? Let's get for this guy. has been redesignated. Let's get away from them. Okay, there we go. Oh, man. The dude, like, literally ran right into me. Must be from Florida. Sorry. I'm allowed to say that because I'm originally from Florida as well. down. Okay, looks like we got one more to go. Okay. Yep, I won't be going onto their ship, don't worry. Well, let's see what we got. Uh, records. See, these are records of animals from or fauna, if that's the case may be, the animals or plants or minerals from certain planets. You get value for them. So, just go ahead and eat them up. Alright. So, back to our original scientific research. Looks like we're going... down this way. Ah. Destroyed 70 starships. Really? Huh. Well, you know, you don't really realize how many you've gone through, I guess. Oh, interesting. There are how many. You know what? That There's actually a way to tell. You can go into your menu. You can see how many you have actually taken out. Uh, nearby object of interest detected. That usually means a traitor. Now, if it says anomaly detected, that's a whole other ball of wax. For those we want to stop for. And... We're here. Alright. I don't know why, but I can only approach the planet like that. I have to spin myself around the other way. Well, let's see. Huh. There's three different facilities we could possibly go to. I don't think it's the one on the right. Ah, uh, okay. We'll take this one. It's the bigger one. That's a first. Yeah, okay. Well, it's worth a shot. So it's it's definitely not here. So you'll notice I've adjusted the audio a little bit, so we're getting a little bit of the tunes now. Gee, wonder where it is. I think we're going to be uh, tangling with a couple of sentinels here. So I hope the audio sounds a little better. You're going to get some more of the music. That's what I thought. Here we go. Let's take some stuff while we're here, man. Already broke in. You might as well uh, take what you can. Alright. 
Here we go. As I approach the terminal, I sense an immense sadness and grief. I hear the echoes of a thousand souls, entities whose life was stolen from them long ago. Non-convergent user registered. On the display, I see the production line of this factory, a vast array of cubes infused with the memories of an entire species. They appear to be caught within, within an endless cycle of trauma, unable to do anything but repeat their tragedy. The terminal identifies these items as convergence cubes. Uh, let's see, should we upload memory, cease production, or attempt to take a cube? I don't think we should cease production. We need to upload memories. That was the whole point behind doing all this, but we really need a cube. What do you think, folks? I'm going to try to take a cube. It says attempt, and I think it's going to go bad, and I'm really curious as to what happens. I think that's what it is here. Let's go ahead and do it. I, I succeed, but I cannot help feeling like I've committed some terrible crime. Okay. It's okay. Do we want to battle? Why don't we do that? Come on in. Pulse spitter is warm. They're searching? What, they couldn't find me? He's right. Oh, then maybe that's what happens. I took him out before they had a chance to find me. I don't believe it. They're deactivated. Well, you know what? I guess we'll skip the battle today. So, you're wondering what all those... Uh, Navigational data pieces were for. That not only just to call your ship into you, they're also useful for these things. See, one navigational data required. And there we go. All right. So, it's time to go back to our home base. Probably the quickest way is going to be through the galaxy map. All right, good deal. We're on our merry. So this is getting close to the end of the scientist portion of our base building. Oh. how the name of the system went there. Yeah, I like that too. Ah, there we are. Huh. Yep, I had to choose a planet further away, huh? Wait a second. I want to try something here. That's not what I was wanting to try. Because I think we can get there faster by going through the space station. And we just turned around and gone into the space station. We would have been there probably by now. Cool. <laughs> Talk about your glitches. Spin to the right. Ooh, lefty spinny down. Very nice. system. Now you notice we have a base in the Eisentum galaxy, so that's good. And you will never find your own base. If you have multiple saves and you try to go to a base that you created on a different save, you'll never see it. Keep that in mind. I think that's what they were trying to tell us, too, in the storyline, is that you're in a different 
instance of the galaxy as well. Think of it like a multiverse. Yeah, let that one blow your mind a little bit too. All right, here we go. Uh, stranger, I feel something unusual is occurring. In this facility, is this facility shielded in some way so that signals are unable to escape? Operator entity Kudempo is once again becoming aware of their isolation. The convergence cube may be their only hope. I'm sorry if my voice is beginning to sound like something from a TV show. I apologize. I insert the cube. The Corvax is temporarily startled. But soon their lights begin to flash in a familiar pattern. I cannot be sure, but the plan appears to have worked. Forgive me for asking, Entity, but did I know you once? You seem familiar. These terminals, they are of my own design. One machine even called me its parent, attempted to convince me of its love. You. I deleted the bug, of course. I run a proper code base. I did harvest some useful blueprints from its store, however. Would you care for them? Whatever relationship we had developed has gone, replaced only by this cloud of unknowing. Perhaps it was an error. Perhaps this being was the true self of the Corvax all along, and the one I knew was just a sickness, a distortion. I cannot know. Except the blueprints. Take care when constructing these objects, Traveler. The plans were created by an error, after all. Heat capacitor and liquid explosive. Okay. I don't think the two really go well together. Okay, those are expensive items, and as you build them... You see? Frost crystals, selenium. Acid and unstable, but look at the value. Very nice, huh? Yeah, buddy. That's when you start getting to some seriously... Some serious uh, recipes for creating some very expensive items that you can sell. Alright, so you'll notice... There's no more scientist anymore. It's done. So you're done with that. Time to go on to agricultural research. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. We're only about 20 minutes in. So we're going to go ahead and return to the farmer. And we're going to be picking up some items on different planets for them. And we'll probably have to populate this area with all kinds of machines and stuff like that. We have more of these, uh, you know, things that grow plants. I don't want to call it a pot. Sorry. Your first lesson will teach you to embrace the dirt, friend. Hmm. The earth provides life in death, after all. Take this hydroponics tray and these gut rot, gut rot flower seeds. Grow the flower and see how fine it feels to produce life. Prospector Vets is already bedding in nicely. They have already given me the means to beautify my home. If I prove myself a worthy farmer with this gut rot flower, perhaps they will share more of their agricultural secrets. Except... Wonderful, my friend. Soon our home will be filled with the delicate perfume for which this plant was named. Gut rot. Just what I want wafting through my home. Yeah. Okay, grow a gut rot. Yeah, let's go here. We need 40 feces, And you all know what feces is. Let's go harvest some poop. Yay. All right, so what's the best way to get poop? Well, the best way to get it would be to get it from an animal. Best way to get it from an animal, well, the only way they can produce it is if you feed it. Well, let's go over to one of these guys out here and... you got to be kidding me. I, I built it in the ship, didn't I? I did. <laughs> there we go. How many we got? Three? It'll work for now. I just gotta wait for the magic pills to work. See, these particular creature pellets are wonderful. You see, what they do is they have this special uh, additive to it that helps these creatures to basically uh, defecate all over the place. Yeah, you heard me say that word. Just gotta wait for them to get it out of their system here. No, I'm not joking. You know what's funny is I might actually have some in that cargo container over there. Anytime now. 
There we go. Yay. Yay. I'm so happy. They're pooping everywhere. Yay. The most disgusting thing I've ever had to do in this game. And you know what's funny? You'll have to do it. You have to do it. Shoot. Yeah. Because God forbid I should want to have you here next to me. Alright. I think I've got enough. Okay. Let's just double check. Why I keep sending up my starship. 82. Poop. Alright. Let's go plant one of these, uh... Great. The whole, the whole ship, the whole plant, the whole area here is going to smell like, uh... Yeah. Brilliant. It smells better in here, Prospector. Thank you so much for that odiferous smell. How is the gut rot flower, friend? Did it does it blossom? Is it heavy with fruit? Oh my god! Jeez. I'm trying. I'm trying very hard not to picture the fruit. <laughs> and in the twenty-five cesium, we've got it from the animals anyway. Beautiful friend, we shall make a farmer of you yet. While I prepare a dish of fragrant wonder, another agricultural challenge awaits you. Frostwort. The frostwort is a tricky thing, friend. It flourishes where other plants fail, thrusting its root through the ice and snow. But such a hard life is not for us. Plant one here in your own home and be spared the pain of winter. Prospector Vets asked me to grow a frostwort plant and prove our hydroponic system can't replicate any environment. Wonderful, friend. It is a delicate thing to look at for such a hardy plant. Please do enjoy it. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, hang on just a second here. Do we have enough to build one of these? I actually think I want to build a square one. That's deep water. Okay, so... All right. Will we build windows yet? No. I swear we have glass someplace, but... Anyway, let's build one of the planters. Uh, here we go. And we'll need more metal plates later on. So frostwort requires dioxide, which you currently have on us, and 50 frost crystals. So... Frost crystals are fun to find. So here's where you get a little bit of a lesson in finding frost crystals. Hey, hey, what are you doing my ship, pal? I don't even want to know. All right. Go to our catalog. We need to find materials and items. There we go. Raw materials. And we're looking for frost wart, right? Nope, wait a minute. Oh, plants. There we go. Okay, frost crystals. Launching the space to scan planets for plant life. Okay, so we got some in the system, apparently. Let's look at the system. Guess what? Right there. We are on this planet. It's not here, not here, but we do have it in Guri 5. Off to Guri 5. Now, it might be quicker to go to the space station first. Uh, current location. That's our base. There we go. Current system. Ah, the Elan Paul story system. Fascinating. Now, before we go anywhere else, on a whim, let's check the trade terminal. Because sometimes you never know, it might carry something in there that could be of use, like plants. Nothing there, so we'll take our ship to Guri 5. Um, pilots sometimes have them, 
especially on trading platforms rather than the space station. Sometimes they'll carry. They only got usually one page of items in there. Some of them are uh, faction related items. But look at that. I guess I was right. Right there. Uh, they have faction related items, but usually two or three items that they carry in their inventory are items of uh, weird value and sometimes at least one, sometimes two plants. Oh, one of those archives. I'm telling you. One guy thinks that the picture we saw on Sean Murray's site was a Atlas station on the planet, which is very interesting, one of the comments I received. And by the time this episode comes out, we'll probably already know what to expect, but we'll see. Because I'm actually recording this well in advance, a few weeks in advance of that. I like to stay on top of things. Oh, there we go. Cross fort in the distance. Woohoo! Wow. Yeah, baby. Nice. That was fun. Yeah, you know, I don't think I've ever played it in VR, but, uh,. Pretty sure, and I've seen some videos of people playing this in VR, and it's got to be absolutely fascinating. Sorry, kids. These VR headsets can be quite expensive when you've got a family to raise and feed. Bills to pay. Sometimes you don't have the ability to do those kind of things. Wish I could. All right. Okay, I think we got everything. How many did we end up with? 377? Good. That'll work. That is a pretty neat picture right there. Look at that picture right there. Let's get up here. You know we got to get this. How about... Yeah, with our back to the camera. What do you think? I think that looks really, really cool. Make it obvious that we got somebody in the picture. Good. I like that. I think we just found our thumbnail. Very nice. Sweet. Doesn't happen all the time that I find one in the episode I'm looking at, and I'll usually grab one from uh, some other... I don't know, some other archive that I was uh, playing on. I've got a lot of pictures. Lots and lots of pictures. There we go. Jetpack is a little depleted at the moment. So we'll just Tom and Jerry it. Okay. Uh, that's not my ship. Sorry. Excuse me. Alright. Off we go. And we're going to take the space station trip here. Um, right there. We have to stop by these freighters. No. Good. Okay. I don't know how I know which way is oriented up, but for some reason I know every time I approach a space station these days. All right. So, you know, frost crystals are found on cold planets, hence the name Frost. Most everything that they name in this game has been named, especially the plants, have been named for a reason. To make it as obvious as possible as to what you're going to need, or where you're going to find it. So, that said, we found our frost crystals on a frosty planet. All right. 
I don't know how many videos I've recorded this day, but the voice is getting a little bit worn out. It tends to get deeper as I get on with the day. Uh, how is this doing? Okay, it looks like we got good power. All right, good. We're three times the amount used. All right. Just want to make sure we don't need to add anything to our power system here. All right. Let's plant our plant. Frostwort. There we go. Frostwort planted. Wait for it to tell us. Oh, hold on a second. It switched on us. There we go. Gotta wait for it to tell you to return to the farmer or else it won't get you the right message. You have mastered the frost ward? Your base is already feeling more homely, yes? Oh yeah, it's feeling homely, all right. Does the way it shimmers in the light not enchant you, friend? I have lost hours to its gentle glisten. But now, a plant of great contrast. <laughs> it's glistening? I hate to tell you what that is. All right, solar vine this time. This time we need solanium. Where might we find selenium? Does the name give you a hint? It says ensure a hot climate. So, a plant that grows deep within, pardon me, your next crop will be solar vine, a plant that grows deep within the mantle of scorched worlds. It seeks out all heat from the sun or the core below. Its roots can extend to such incredible lengths that once it was believed they never ended. But not to worry, friend. Here, with our facilities, their growth shall be more manageable. Prospector Vets wishes for me to cultivate Solar Vine, a plant that usually grows only in extreme heat. Really? If only I shone as brightly as the Solar Vine. I envy you the joy of discovery, friend. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our Solar Vine. Now it says here... Okay. And we don't have the resource. You know what? Let me just check the cargo container because I just feel like we collected some stuff at some point. And we'll put these in here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember having collected it. All right. So we don't have any more plant-like species here except for marrow bulb, and that's not going to count. We do have some glass, though. I'm just going to take that real quick. All right. Why the glass, you say? Because I want to add a couple of windows here. One, two. We'll add one over here. And I like one over on the end over here. We'll get more glass later. See, that looks a little better. You can see outside now. Alright, but we have the selenium, so we should be able to just build the part. Uh, the plant, pardon me. Uh, solar vine. There we go. And now we need a hydroponics tr tray. We need to build a metal plate. We'll need more of those. Okay. Mr. Farmer. You have successfully cultivated solar vine, yes? I can smell its heat from here. Interesting. You can smell the heat. Hmm, that's okay, because I can feel the yellow from here. It's incandescent splendor. Confirm. Give him 50 selenium. Wonderful. Savor this moment, friend. For now, I lead you into a more dangerous realm of bot botanical study. The fungal cluster. I knew a couple people that had those. Fungal clusters are cultivated within toxic environments, but you have proved you can master much, yes? Be careful. As you work, friend, clusters have been known to cause illness and hallucination if improperly handled. Extended exposure is ill-advised. Prospector Vets... Vets... Uh, I can't say his name. Prospector V wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow fungal clusters. Yes, we're going to accept. Wonderful. While you prepare the fungal clusters, I will check our ventilation systems. One can have too much of a good thing. <laughs> he didn't laugh. I did. Okay. So we need to produce a fungal cluster. So to do that, what do we need? We need fungal mold. Where do we find fungal mold? Well, go off to our handy dandy catalog of materials and items and plants. We need to find 
something that looks like fungal mold. Uh, it says, in the galaxy map, search for a system where fungal, fungal mold grows. So we have to go off to our ship and find fungus. <laughs> uh, so sorry. It's getting a little late here. All right, so we're going to take off. We're going to go to another system, and we're going to find fungus. Yes, even in No Man's Sky, fungus is a thing. Why, look, fungus exists up there, in this system. Off we go to find fungus. And no, I am not getting tired of saying that. Off we go, fungal explorers. Hello, fungal travelers. Oh, that's actually kind of an interesting system right there. What do we got? We got a boiling planet. Hey, it happens to have selenium. And we got a corrosive planet with fungal mold. That's just what we want. Now, this planet is closer. It has selenium too, but I guess we're heading to this one. Hey. Oh, here we go. All right. Hmm. Hyperdrive needs charging. I'm going to use up these three cells. So they're out of the inventory. We'll save the hyper cells for later. Okay. And it looks like we're in the midst of a storm as well. Let's just see if we can find a, a parking space. Oof. Okay. Quick turn around. Oh, it's one of these systems, huh? You know what? I'm going to land a little early. I wouldn't mind a couple of these guys because I can make some more Piper cells with them. Um, you landed me right in the plant. That is fascinating. All right. There we go. That's where we're headed. I heard wind. Better not have been that fecium plant. Hey, while we're here, get to these before the storm ends. Okay, got them all. Oh, wow, we found ourselves a, uh, uh, that's pretty cool. Guess what? It's picture time. Oh, guess what? Yeah, so, this is a thing. Just keep your jets handy. Don't get panicky. Yeah, now that, that's an awesome picture. How far back can we go? A little bit of lightning? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. That is a pretty cool picture. Yeah, we got to get that. Maybe like that. That's pretty good, too. I'll get a couple shots here. There's no harm in doing that, right? Ooh. Yeah, let's get that centered just a little bit. Come on. Doesn't get any better than that, right? I don't know. That might fight for a better shot for our thumbnail. Okay. Enough. 
There you go. That's all you have to do. So like I said, when it happens, don't panic. I spent the entire time in a, uh, you know, in a picture mode. All right. Let's get some more fungus. Now, do collect all you can. If this, you come across a, an outcropping like this that has a lot of plants on it, just collect all of them. Don't just go through and say, oh, I only need so much. Yeah, but you know, you're going to find that you're going to need it down the road for something. You know, you're going to want to produce that item that, that's worth uh, 250 million at a time. And guess what? It's going to require some items that need to be gathered like this. Uh, I don't know how many of these are actually... Okay, they have the white spots on them, the bright bulbs on them, indicating that they are... Up, get away. That are indicative that we haven't collected them yet. This is quite the trove of them, I can tell you that. Interesting. Okay, I think we can get the other ones and we're done. I think that's it. Oh, one more. And if it isn't, close enough. Okay. How many, how many did we get? 800. Nice. We got ourselves a nice grouping of uh, storm crystals as well, so that's going to be good for our war piper cores. Never pass up the opportunity. That was longer than 500. Eh, whatever. But I hope you've enjoyed the running journey that I've had here. Perfect. Excellent. Execute order 65. Or was it 67? Ah. Uh. So you go to the space station, how long will it take to get there? Let's find out. 20 seconds. Yeah, we can save our hyperdrive. Just use a little bit of pulse, uh, pulse engine sludge, and uh, that should work for us. I like that idea. Now, I don't intend to let this episode get more than an hour. So what I'll do is, now you kind of see the rigmarole you're going through. You can find different ways to get back and forth to certain systems to get the items that you need to produce all the plants. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the plants built up. We'll show you the finished product in the last communication with our fella. Or every time we communicate with him, I'll bring you guys in. So you can see how it goes. Yeah, I think the exhaust system needs to be worked on. Somebody sounds like they somebody stole our catalytic converter off this thing. It's okay. We'll, we'll get you fixed up, buddy. Call my guy Tony. He'll take care of it for you. Yeah, I do have a mechanic. His name is really is Tony, so, you know, I'm not joking. Okay, main base. Tally-ho! Through the wormhole of... What would you call this? Reminds me of something when I was a kid. Hmm. Not important. I know, I'm leaving you hanging. If I can remember, I'd tell you. I can't remember, I'm not going to tell you. Just that simple. Get over yourself. Alright, here we go. Let's plant our plant. It's over here. Uh, what are we planting? Fungal cluster. Oh, he's such a cute little shroom, ain't he? Alright. We go back to our log. We got to choose the agricultural research. Let's get the communication portion over with, and we'll. I'll go off and collect the next piece. Are you finished then? Let me see those fungal clusters of yours. Whoa, buddy, getting a little personal there, aren't you? It has been such a long time. Okay, now we're really getting personal. 
You learn quickly, Traveler. Now that you have mastered some of the more dangerous flora, let us go one step further. Gamma weed. We need gamma root and uranium. The Gek lost our homes, our cities, our identity in the last great war, Traveler. World upon world, bombarded by atomic strike. All that grows on the worlds of old are warped things, deadly to the touch, screaming with the memory of what they once were. One such crop is gamma weed. We shall cultivate it here. Let us leave the fighting to others, friend. We shall grow things instead. Prospector V wishes for me to cultivate gamma weed using the hydroponics tray. Of course we accept. I await the results with anticipation, Traveler. Now, please forgive me. I have not been able to sleep recently. I must get some rest. Yeah, it's by all the poop in the air. Disgusting. Look at that, huh? Nice. Let's put that in my starship. Alright, so we'll, we'll hang on to this stuff on us. It's no big deal. So I'm going to make a couple of metal plates. I'm going to create two more of these little hydro... What am I missing? Pure ferrite. Well, I'll be. Do we have a backpack uh, refiner yet? We do not. Okay. Let's go to our refiner. And we need to get pure ferrite. So... We'll just create a little bit. I'll create the hydroponics trays. Actually, I see no reason to have you folks hanging around here. So let me go ahead and put you on, put you on hold, and we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program in just a moment. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. And we're back. So we have what we are looking for. We have the gamma weed. So let's go ahead and get our plant planted and get through our next spot. Let's see. I am so very tired, Traveler. What is it you want? Suggest they are lazy or ask why they're tired. Never be... Never always... Crit Let's try that again. Never criticize kindness. Always be kind when you can. Let's go with number two. I work hard, friend. Harder than I perhaps should. But work is work. Working with you, working with all these crops, it is what I was born to do. Okay. That's it, huh? Oh, that's what happened. Didn't think it made any sense. Are the gamma weed cuttings ready? They require delicate care in spite of their chaotic origins, or perhaps because of them. Who knows? Show me your successes. Hand over 50 gamma root. Ah, I will be able to make such fine dishes with this plant. Excuse me? It is a pity that you are unable to gorge on this radioactive treasure, traveler. Okay. Or perhaps I may offer an alternative. We will sate your hunger with beauty rather than food. Ooh, the gravitino one. We need... Ooh, they gave us all three. The Venom Urchin and the Albumin Pearl Orb. Very nice. We shall cultivate a crop of Gravitino Host. I will be happy to tell you the history of, it, of this flora, if you wish. My stories and theories seem to bore other Gek, friend. I suppose I am closest to the Corvax of my wish to study, but even then, those machines lack all sense of surprise, all passionate wonder. I must confess that I am frequently... that I frequently feel lonely. Prospector V wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow Gravitino hosts. Many believe the Gravitino hosts cannot be cultivated through artificial means, but I know they are wrong, friend. You will reap the benefits of my experimentation. Okay. So let's see. What does it take to build one? Chromatic metal, silver, and magnesium ferrite. We happen to have all three. Shall we? Created. But before we go any further, we are obviously got more plants we're going to have to plant. So let's uh, get a couple more of these trays going. We need metal plates. My bad. Let's get six. Should be enough to get us three of these. Okay. We planted it. What now? Oh, and harvest. So we need them to be harvested. So let me just see if I have any gravitino balls in, oh, wrong way, in my uh, cargo container here. Oh, I 
really thought I had some. Any on the ship? Probably not. Nope. Freighter? Nope. Opey dopey. So we have to go find ourselves some gravitino balls. We're going to go through the same thing. I'm going to go look for them. You all don't go anywhere. I promise I'll be right back. And we're back. So there's two ways to get these. Either you can wait for the plant to fully mature, grow, produce the gravitino ball. Or you can find a planet that has aggressive sentinels on it. So when you scan a planet from space, you're going to look for that little red text at the bottom that says Aggressive Sentinels. Every single one of those planets will have Gravitino Balls on them. All you have to do is pick them up. And of course then you attract every Sentinel in the area and they start attacking you. So you just have to run around real quick to get away from it or shut them down. I know that sound anywhere. You carry Gravitino Balls, do you not? Hand in the Gravitino Ball. Ah, it is like greeting an old friend. Let me see them. Truly wondrous work, Traveler. So now we get to grow an Echinocactus. Echinocactus, I guess, is how that would be pronounced. And I was lucky enough to find some cactus while I was in my journeys. We have seen so much life in frost and heat, nuclear winter and toxic wastelands. You should know by now that no world is truly barren, friend, even if they seem to be few signs of life. There seem to be few signs of life. Take the, uh, the Echinocactus. Yeah, Echinocactus, for example. They are found on otherwise barren worlds waiting for their moment to thrive. Just think of what they will become in this superior environment. Prospector V wishes for me to cultivate Echinocactus, a plant that usually grows on barren worlds. Except, I look forward to the results, friend. Now, fortunately, like I said, I found a planet that had cactus on it already, so... Grown. To the farmer. The Aquino cactus must have bloomed by now. Is it ready, friend? Can I see it? Hand in 100 cactus. I have only two plants left to show you. Your training is almost complete, friend. I am so proud. The star bramble. We need star bulbs. Which I think we can get from just about any planet. I want to share something with you. Something be beautiful beyond compare. The star bulbs are grown from the rare star brambles found on lush worlds unspoiled by war or death. This is why I wanted to become a farmer, to tend such sublim sublimity. Prospector V wishes me to use the Hyponics trade to grow star brambles. Except, ex excellent, I must go and speak to the overseer. Apparently they, are, apparently they are unhappy with my performance. Perhaps this crop will change their mind. No, I'm pretty sure it's the boot plant that you had me plant, buddy. All right. Uh, star bramble, 360, 376. Impulse... Uh, Star Bramble 400, 678, Subterranean. Guess you're our winner. Which I don't believe we've ever collected Star Brambles, so we'll go ahead and get that collected. Well, stay time. You always collect more than you need because obviously you have to hand in some so you can wait for the plant to grow. Or you can make sure you collect more than you need. Okay, I think we're good. How much did we get? 137. Well, I think think it's enough. Let's head back, shall we? I see some blue plants over here that'll help us on our journey. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hopefully he doesn't want more than 50, because I think it takes like 50 to plant this. Yep, 50. There. Okay, that should leave us with about 75 left. Let's see what he, what we have. It looks like he wants us. So, the star brambles have bloomed, yes. Press them over for examination. He only wanted 25. Good. Then, only one task remains. 
the Mordite root. And we need 40 Mordite, which if we only have 35. I cannot pretend to be a farmer anymore. The Overseer has made it clear. It must be as the others of my species are. I must trade, sell, accumulate. And I will make a final meal before I leave, Traveler. The Overseer requested it. A dish made from Mordite root. The death element. Go. Grow this final crop. Raph Spectre V wishes for me to use the Hyponics tree to grow the Mordite, Mordite group. We're going to go ahead and accept that. The Overseer asks for one last meal with me before I go. I must ready myself. Good luck, friend. Okay. Meal of death say so. So let me just check in the cargo container. I don't think we have any more. Yeah. But you know where we're getting it from. As you can see, we got it by taking out a creature. And I think there's some on my ship because it's very odd. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So we just need to find an animal. Hey, look, an animal. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. It's not the meaty chunks I'm after. It's the Mordite. But we need more than that, unfortunately. do we have now? 66. I want to collect at least about 100 of it. get us a hundred? Sure did. Hopefully that's enough, because I really, really, really don't like killing the creatures for no reason. I neglect that crap, but it is what it is. Sorry. Really bothers me a little bit. Okay. Looks like we have enough. Last communication. You grew it, didn't you? The Mordite root is done. Hand in 25. Let me see it. You have mastered so much of the botanical art, my friend. To see that others understand its virtues, well, it gives me hope. It is a pity you can digest so little of our own produce. But creating life is its own reward, is it not? The farmer has no more tasks for me. They tell me that their contract is at an end and that they will be returning to Gek territory. As they discuss their leaving plans, they watch the ceiling carefully. It is unclear what they are looking at. Suddenly, Prospector V grabs me, telling me not to trust the Overseer, that their fellow Gek may not even be a Gek at all. They seem to suggest that their food was somehow drugged. This can't be true. I've shared meals with the Overseer, and I am fine. They would never do anything to harm any of us. The Overseer only wants what is best. A moment later, the farmer, the farmer stops speaking. They assure me that they, just, they, they were just joking, and beg me not to speak of this matter again. They ask if they are all right. I ask Proctus, Prospector V if they are alright. They claim that they are, their eyes glistening in the darkness of the base. Yeah, that wasn't creepy at all. And it looks like we have to talk to him again? I, I'm not feeling like myself, Traveler. I do not think I should go. Not just yet. Yes, that's right. I will stay. Farmer appears to be refusing to leave, despite, despite a lack of continued payment or directives from the Overseer. They spend their days tending my crops, no longer proposing any tasks. They claim they have nothing else. They have nowhere else to go. Smile at them. Prospector V smiles back, happy to be here among their plants. And so ends the second of the units. So the last thing we have is expanding the base. And we have to return to the Overseer to do that. But as you can see, we're well beyond an hour now. We're a few minutes beyond. So we'll do that on a further episode. We'll complete out the base uh, issues. Maybe we'll go ahead and complete out the base computer archives if we can uh, get enough words, I suppose. Uh, we'll go ahead and also deal with the settlement while we're at it. Um, as far as the industrial surveying, that's just something that we do. It'll be a small part of a mission. We'll get to that later. So, expanding the base will be next. I hope to see you in my next episode. Let's go ahead and 
exit the facility. And let's see which thumbnail we'll choose from later on. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Take care. We'll see you in the next one.